Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on ACC Race Control. It's an amazing app, it's free over on um, Race Department, so you would have to sign up to Race Department, but you get so much more than just this one app, there is loads on it, and I'll probably do another video on that another day. But for today, we're literally just solely looking at ACC Race Control. So if you're interested in doing broadcasting, broadcasting and commentary, or even if you're a steward and you want a nice way to be able to log every single incident, this tool does all of that and much more. So simply just come over to race department now just to show you if you do register up it's 11.99 a year uh, It's 9.99 for six months. It is either 7.99 for three months or 2.99 a month Or if you're a person that actually has a business from it uh, You know, it's a hundred euro a month if you are obviously supplying stuff up and making funds off it But yeah I literally paid for the year and for me I absolutely love it I think I'm past the year now but I still have access so it's grand anyway but um, yeah we're going to log in now and we're going to download the ACC race control and get going now so once you're logged in I just simply went to ACC race control typed it in up the top and I just pressed in the first ACC race control as it's just a comment on the actual app scroll up to the top here you go, ACC race control with the patch, just press download. Um, once that's downloaded, then it's just a simple factor of opening it. And I'm going to get rid of the camera now as it's going to get in the way of so much information. So bear with me one second and I will be back with the app open and ready to go. Now, so once you have it downloaded and open, this is exactly what it looks like. Uh, all we need to do is have the game open in an online lobby and then we can just press connect and it's gonna pull in all the information there now. As you see, I've just joined a random lobby. A race is just about to start, so we'll get all the statistics. So we're just gonna run through this. So straight away in the view race, we have obviously the position that they're in and the name of the drivers and then the manufacturer. Now, be aware at the minute, some of the manufacturers haven't showed up because the new cars just haven't been updated into it. The new McLaren Evo, the Ferrari Evo, but that will be fixed, but you'll know anyway when you're looking. Uh, the gap as well is massively important to the drivers. Uh, if you're doing commentary, this is something you're going to be staring at while you're looking at the race because you want to see where the gaps are. You want to give the best action on the track and not just be looking at the first person, first place going around and round and round if there's a bit of a gap there. You want to be showing people where the action is. You're going to have the gap to the leader, their current lap time, their last lap time, their best lap time and the number of laps that they've done. And then what you can go over here and you can go to view statistics. So here you're going to see at the plus and minus how many positions they've either gained or lost then under the grid you'll have then where they started and then the pick count is very very handy if you are doing commentary in an endurance race this will show how many times people have pitted and even in the standard race you'll see how many times people have pitted you see the Styler has jumped into the pit so he'll go back down to last then you have the time in the pit so this will be shown in race conditions time in the stop so that'll show if someone was stopped for three seconds for a splash and dash or whether they were stopped for maybe you know a minute it depends on if they've done tires or not so it's very handy especially as a commentator but also if you are actually doing an endurance event and you have a team in it you can run this software and get great information for your own team so if you're trying to get an undercut or overcut that'll also be there you'll also have the speed drop time as well as the stint time then apart from the statistics, you have the drivers, so you can actually just get the category that they're in, the car that they're in, the class, and then obviously the stint timer, so you'll know exactly who which driver is. And then qualifying, so this is very, very handy if you're in qualifying, you'll see the exact best sectors, the deltas, best lap, last lap gap, stuff like that as well. But yeah, we're going to go straight to the view race one, because this race has started here. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to... Uh, add the game screen in a bit just so you can see exactly what I'm changing and you know how it works and we'll be back to this now in one sec now so we're connected up guys here we are we're on board with a car so as you can see here we're on the bonnet cam but I will always recommend don't be on the bonnet bumper wing interior driver or passenger too much for the simple fact being the volume genuinely is much louder i have the game volume down low enough to hopefully my voice is okay but i'd always run with the tv1 tv2 
or else the helicam otherwise you're just going to be drowned out and it's uh it's frustrating for the viewers who want to be listening to the commentary and for yourself obviously putting in the work so i'd always recommend that so volumes is another thing i might show another day but here that we're in the stream you see we're on the basic code at the minute i would get rid of that and um, to blank for myself as i use custom uh, overlays but for anyone who doesn't have custom overlays just press the bc so the broadcasting overlay that's bent in from kunos which has the overall um standings the driver that we're on now so have their best and last lap as well then is obviously at the top you will have your the track is on optimal condition and temperatures uh yes yeah, so i'd always run really tv1 or tv2 so here's a perfect example so because my i have a car in the pits i'm not in as a spectator this is going to pull me to my car so i'll change it really quick but while you're in spectator mode it'll go directly to the car i'm going to go on a replay with this car here as you see there's a yellow flag and he's all over the shop so i'm going to go back 30 seconds and let's see what happened oh there he is all over the place now when you're in the replay it removes any of the overlays because it's literally just showing the replay and it's a nice little key to let someone know who's watching but this person here this is a perfect example of an online lobby guys <laughs> join a league get one through grid finder or some other place but yeah i would not ever trust an online lobby if you want to learn it to race so as we know we're on the final lap so you jump on with the leader so just double click on the drivers to change them so you'll see then the best lap is done by the second driver there the gap is only half a second and you can scroll up and down always be looking for the gaps for me that's the biggest thing look for the gaps you have the gap to the leader and then over in view statistics which is phenomenal you're going to have then the time in the pits which is shown here with a few drivers that have pitted time stopped as well so there was a minute and three in the pits and there were 53 seconds stopped and that's including the stopping and the starting and everything else uh, then you have speed trap of 243 and then you see then the stint timer is slightly slower because they pitted so it'll be a fresher stint and then you can see here the plus and minus positions lost and gained so first and second both gained third place lost his uh, pole position during that race it's really that simple guys um yeah i'd always recommend using tv1 helicam or tv2 and as you see there's quite a few little flags that guy is still trying to drive now another great thing is race control so that you can download the sheets this will show you all the contacts the timestamp, and the cars involving so this is an amazing amazing tool now because i was in and out of the game there i can go back to replay here for this contact here and we're going to actually be able to see the contact so this is very handy for doing live shooting there might only be a little tap oh well that was that was him taking a car out from behind so you could easily give them a proper penalty the same with this one was possible contact with another car well, as you can see his car had better days so this is quite handy if you want to go back while you're commentating as well and go oh we missed this instant but here it is we'll jump on here this is contact between car 246 and 101 206 obviously getting revenge or 246 should I say getting revenge for the earlier incident which we showed there but this is the great thing guys it has so much information and this will go the whole way through the race as well uh, I'd always recommend statistics if you're doing kind of endurance or if you're doing an hour long race and pit stops might be a bit of a a game changer especially if it starts raining i'd always definitely look at that but a few races the main thing i look at all the time and then i'm always looking for this yellow flag when that pops up because you know someone's gone off obviously now it's just off to the side of the track and yeah you can look at the gaps and see who's getting closer jump onto that then because no one else is in the orange that's on the track look for the p but yeah guys it's a very very short video but for me this is an amazing tool whether you're commentating broadcasting doing shooting or even if you just want to be able to look back after the race if you're racing and just want to see the links of those incidents and other bits it's absolutely brilliant and you get all the information on stint times and stuff like that as well so for me it's a must-have tool for anybody uh, who is interested in broadcasting or interested in ACC sim racing whatsoever on PC um, so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and until the next video have a good one